स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन वॉट इज इलास्टिसिटी द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मैटर बाई वर्च्यू ऑफ विच एन ऑब्जेक्ट रीगेन्स इट्स ओरिजिनल शेप एंड साइज इज कॉल्ड इलास्टिसिटी लेट इज परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट स्ट्रेच अ रबर बैंड वॉट डू यू ऑब्जर्व वी ऑब्जर्व दैट देर इज अ चेंज इन इट्स शेप एंड साइज ऑन रिलीजिंग द रबर बैंड कम्स बैक टू इट्स ओरिजिनल लेंथ The force applied to the rubber band is called the deforming force. The force which restores the elongated rubber band to its original size and shape is called the restoring force. This property of the rubber band because of which it regains its original shape and size is called elasticity. Now what do you observe when you stretch a piece of chewing gum? When you stretch a piece of chewing gum and release it the gum will not regain its shape and size this property is known as plasticity when a force is applied on a body it gets deformed the extent of deformation depends upon the nature of the force applied the ratio of change in dimension to the original dimension is called strain strain is the ratio of two like quantities and hence it has no units there are three types of strain they are linear strain volume or bulk strain and shearing strain linear strain is the ratio of the change in length to the original length volume strain is the ratio of the change in volume to the original volume shearing strain is equal to the angle of shear theta The force acting per unit area is defined as stress. Stress is given by the formula F by A, where F is the deforming force and A is the area. The SI unit of stress is newton meter raised to the power of minus two, or pascal. There are three types of stress. They are longitudinal stress, hydrostatic stress, and shearing stress. If the forces are applied along the length of the body then the stress is if the body is subjected to a uniform if the forces are act 